All right, let's look at equations with no solutions. How can you tell if equation um, does not have a solution? I mean, you would think, you know, wouldn't all equations have solutions? I mean, what's the point of an equation if there's no solution? Um, and yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Uh, but keep in mind, who who writes equations? Humans write equations. Maybe maybe they make a mistake. Um, maybe the equation doesn't mean anything. There's there's all kind of reasons why an equation might not have a solution. Have a solution. So um, here's how to tell. Um, it's basically if you work an equation and until it tells you some nonsense like three equals eight, then it has no solution. That that's how you tell. So. Um, uh, just a couple of very simple examples first. Yeah, here's an equation. An equation is just something, uh, there's an equal sign and there's two things, uh, you know, something on the left side of the, equ the equal sign and something on the right side of the equal sign. And what, what the equation is claiming is that uh, the, the things on either side of the equal sign have the same value, okay? So that's what an equation is claiming. Now the equation might be wrong. It might be saying something that's not true. Um, and so that, that's what happens when an equation has no solution. The equation actually isn't true. Um, so for, you know, just a kind of ridiculous example, um, zero equals six billion. Um, obviously, zero and six billion do not have the same value. So this, 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 this equation is just making stuff up. It's, it's not true. Uh, so this equation has no solution. Uh, there's not even a, a variable there anyway to solve, um, so, you know. So this is kind of this is kind of nonsense. But uh, I'll show you that equations, even with with lots of variables and, and things, um, equations th without solutions basically amount to something ridiculous like this. Um, so here's a slightly less ridiculous example: x equals x plus seven. Um, just intuitively, let's translate this into English. Uh, some number is that same number um, plus seven, or 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 a number is seven more than itself, which of course is nonsense. But uh, to prove to you that it's total nonsense, um, you know, let's just play around with this equation, just following the rules of algebra. Um, you know, uh, I could I could subtract x from both sides. Uh, so you can do that. That's fine. As long as you do um, the same thing to both sides of an equation, you can do anything you want. So um, I'm going to subtract x from this side. So that means I have to subtract x from this side. OK, what happens when I subtract x from this side? Uh, x minus x is 0, so that's gone. So all that's left is 7. Um, x minus x is 0. So I have 0 equals 7. Uh, that is not true. That is a made up story. So hence, this equation has no solution. Okay, no solution. You know, it's 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 an equation that is not saying something that's true. All right, now let's do one that's a little bit more complicated, and this is the kind of thing you'll you'll get in real life problems. So, um, eyeballing, you know, looking at this one, some number is uh, seven more than itself. You know, we knew just by translating it into English that it's that it's nonsense. This is more complicated. This is not immediately clear. So what we'll do is we'll let's just um, just manipulate the equation and then see if we can get it down to something um, you know that looks like nonsense, and then we can tell. Yeah, no, no solution. Um, all right, so just I don't know, just got to start somewhere. How about combining like terms? So nine x and negative two x. Would be would be seven x, so we could rewrite this side as seven x plus seven hundred eighty nine equals seven x plus one thousand. Now I want to subtract seven x from both sides because um, I want to get the x's all on one side to solve for x, right? So let's get the x's all on one side. I'm going to subtract seven x from that side because that's what I did to this side. Okay, seven x minus seven x is zero. So this Right side of the equation is just a uh, thousand seven x minus seven x gone. Uh, so all that's left on this side is seven hundred eighty nine. So uh, when I manip manipulate this equation uh, for a bit, 
what I end up with is a statement that is claiming that 789 is equal to 1000, which is not true at all. So this equation has no solution. Now, um, you know, something like 5x equals 20, that doesn't happen. I can, you know, divide both sides by 5 um, to get x by itself. So I have x equals um, 4, which is not nonsense at all. I mean, this this is true. This doesn't imply some kind of ridiculous contradiction or something like that. So this equation has a solution, and in fact, the solution is is 4. Now, one last note: um, an equation that you can't solve is not the same as an equation with no solution. Okay, uh, so don't blame it on the equation or something and say it has no solution if if you if you're not given enough information to solve it. Uh, x plus two equals y. Um, you can't solve that is if that's all the information you're given because you've got two unknowns, two variables, but only one equation. And in order to solve for the unknowns, you need at least as many equations as unknowns. So I would need at least two equations with x and y in them in order to solve for both x and y, or even really to solve, uh, um, or to get the value of x and y, okay? So I can't solve this. I need more information, uh, you know. Um, so, but that doesn't mean that this doesn't have a solution. So it, it might, but we just need more information. So, an, so an equation with no solution is something that will, if you um, kind of distill it down into something that is obviously nonsense, three equals eight, or zero equals six billion, or you know something that's uh, definitely not true. Uh, and, and, and can't be true, then it has no solution.